Hello, English learners. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco, and my name is Catherine. So, what are we talking about today, Marco? Well, we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which are computers. Yes, you're a little bit of a nerd. <laughs>、uh, a little bit. I love computers and technology and everything that's related to it. So.、Uh, That's what we're going to be looking at today. Maybe we're buying a new computer. Well, I anticipate learning something from this because there are a lot of those fancy big words that I don't know that have to do with <laughs> processors and giga, giga, giga things. <laughs> so、uh, that's going to be coming up in a minute here. But、uh, first, let's just jump right in and take a listen to today's dialogue. So, can you fix it? I'm sorry, sir. This computer is not broken or damaged. It's simply just too old. That's why your programs and applications are running slow. There really isn't much I can do. What do you mean? I bought this computer just three years ago. Yes, but technology is ever changing, and technology is becoming obsolete faster and faster. Okay, I know where this is going. How much will it cost me to get a new computer? Well. This desktop over here is our latest model. It has a 4 gigahertz processor with 16 gigabytes in RAM and a hard disk with one terabyte. Of course, it includes a mouse, keyboard, and desk speakers. I have no idea what you are talking about. I just want to know if it's good and if I'll be able to play solitaire without the computer crashing or freezing all the time. This PC is top of the line, and I guarantee it will never freeze. If it does, we'll give you your money back. All right, we're back.、Uh, I think it's a very typical case. You go in to get something fixed, and they say we can't fix it. You need a new one. Yes, and not only a new one, but a bigger and better and faster one. And more expensive, obviously. Obviously, <laughs> it's called the upsell. The upsell, yeah. <laughs> All right, so there were some very difficult words, I think, because they're very specific related to technology and computers. So、uh, why don't we look at those now in language takeaway? Language takeaway. All right. So the first word we have today is when something is no longer in use. Okay. So this word is obsolete. It's obsolete. Obsolete. And we're not just talking about like, oh, I haven't touched that pen in like ten years. We're talking about <laughs> a piece of technology that is no longer useful because there's something else that can do a better job. Right. And actually, not only with、uh, technology, we also have words that are obsolete. Right.、Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like. Thy or thine, <laughs> you or yours. Classical English. We don't use thy anymore. No, but thou art very summary today, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> We don't use that anymore. That's obsolete English, right?、Mm -hmm. Or obsolete words. Exactly. So obsolete means it's no longer of use. We have better and newer things in in its place. All right. And now moving on, when the salesman was describing the characteristics of the computer. Uh, he had he used some prefixes that were a little bit strange, right? Like for example, giga, giga what? Giga. <laughs> All right. So these are actually prefixes that have to do with numbers, and so this is not just a computer thing. This is a math thing or a science thing. So,、mm -hmm. okay. So we've got three different prefixes. A prefix is something we tack on at the beginning of a word. So we've had we have uh, hertz uh, or byte, right? These are little. Bits of a computer, byte. Right. So you have、um, like megabytes. Megabytes. We've all heard before. That's the smallest here.、Uh, we've got megabytes, but bigger than mega, we've got gigabytes. A giga. Yeah. So now, for example, the the hard drives are 250 gigabytes. You might even hear someone say gigs. We've got a gigs,、yeah. 250 gig hard drive. Yeah. But、uh, what's bigger than giga? Now it's the terabyte. Ooh, terra! It sounds like boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah,、Huge. I actually wondered what would happen after a、uh, gigabyte because it's so much information already, and now it's the terabyte. So it's like one thousand gigabytes. So that's like two hundred movies. That's a, probably more than that. It's amazing the、yeah. amount of storage you can have and how small it actually is. So mega. Giga Terra, going、right. from littlest to biggest. All right, and、uh, well, he described a four gigahertz processor.、Mm, okay, so the processor is our next word, and this is actually something that、um, that determines how fast your computer is going to run. So it comes from the word to process, right? Right. To like calculate or to think. To do even mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to do. So you have different examples like a word processor. Right, so it's like Microsoft Word. It's it allows you to make Word documents.、Mm -hmm. You can also say to process 
uh, data. You're trying to calculate it.、Mm -hmm. But in this case, a processor is like a little brain that's the center of the computer, and that's where all the information gets. Processed. Yeah, so it's the brain of the computer essentially,、mm -hmm. and the bigger it is, the faster it can go. Exactly, and well, if you don't have a very good processor, your computer is bound to freeze. Okay, so freezing is another key word, especially when talking about computers. This one drives me nuts.、Uh, <sighs> to freeze,、uh, it means to stop moving. Right. Right. So,、uh, well, it has a couple different meanings. You might have heard it about ice before, but、mm -hmm. to freeze here, we're talking about stopping moving. So we have a, a game called Freeze Tag,、mm. where if I touch you, you have to stop running. Right.、Uh, but here we're talking about a computer freezing. I'm moving my mouse and I'm typing, and all of a sudden. <laughs> it doesn't my, work. My、anymore. mouse doesn't move. I can't close or open or do anything, and it's really frustrating. It's very, especially if you're doing something and you didn't save your work. It's uh, gone, uh. <laughs> right? So if your computer freezes, then usually you have to restart it or turn、yeah. it off or not. So that is、uh, about it for those words. But let's take another listen and slow the dialogue down this time, so we can catch some of those big words. So can you fix it? I'm sorry, sir. This computer is not broken or damaged. It's simply just too old. That's why your programs and applications are running slow. There really isn't much I can do. What do you mean? I bought this computer just three years ago. Yes, but technology is ever changing, and technology is becoming obsolete faster and faster. Okay, I know where this is going. How much will it cost me to get a new computer? Well. This desktop over here is our latest model. It has a 4 gigahertz processor with 16 gigabytes in RAM and a hard disk with one terabyte. Of course, it includes a mouse, keyboard, and desk speakers. I have no idea what you are talking about. I just want to know if it's good and if I'll be able to play solitaire without the computer crashing or freezing all the time. This PC is top of the line, and I guarantee it will never freeze. If it does, we'll give you your money back. Great, so we are back. So now let's jump into today's fluency builder. Fluency builder. All right. So on fluency builder, we're going to take a look at three different phrases. For example, the salesman was describing technology and said that it's ever changing.、Mm, okay. So this is a almost a little poetic line、yeah. here. So、uh, ever changing means always changing.、Mm -hmm, always.、Right. Always changing, and so we can say that the ocean is ever changing. You know, <laughs>、right. the waves are always changing. It,、um, but in this case, he's saying that technology is always changing. It's always progressing into something new, and so exactly、uh, that is a key selling point for this guy. Right. So、uh, this is actually a very interesting word. We can use it, like in your example, beyond technology, like the way, like the sea is ever changing. So why don't we listen to a couple of other examples? Example one. There's always something new in this ever-changing world. Example two. Times are ever-changing, and we must prepare ourselves better every day. Example three. The flu is an ever-changing virus that continues to claim many lives. All right, we're back. So now we understand the ever-changing. So the man who's trying to buy this computer, or at least get his computer fixed, really starts to get frustrated with the salesman, and he says, "Okay, I know where this is going."、Mm -hmm. So he hears the sales pitch. He's here. He hears this guy trying to loosen him up a little bit. He says, "I know where this is going." So what does this mean? This where something is going. So basically, what direction a conversation or a topic or a situation is taking. Okay, so he's saying, "I know why you're telling me these、right. things. I know your motive, or I know what's happening. I know what you're going to say." Okay, so he's essentially saying, "I know you're going to try and sell me a computer." Right.、All、so right.、Um, you can use it in other circumstances, right? For example, a relationship. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> right. What What is going? Classic breakup line. <laughs> I just don't think I know where this is going anymore. <laughs> so, in reference to the relationship, right? Yeah. We、so. don't know what's happening. Are we serious? Are we maybe going to get married? I don't know anymore. I can't tell where this movie is going. It's so like, ooh, here and there and boring. Yeah, you and... don't know the plot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's a very common phrase, and it sounds very natural when you say it, right? It does, and that's why Influency Builder really helps you sound like a more native English. A speaker when you、mm -hmm. use these kind of phrases, and the next one is also very, very good. When he describes the the condition of the computer, he says it's top of the line. 
Top of the line. Now, what line we're talking about, I do not know. But this like is above average line. Right. So this is the best of the best. This is the top model or the top computer. And mm -hmm. uh, you can definitely imagine a car salesman using this. Yeah. Yes, this BMW is top of the line. <laughs> it's the best money can buy. Yeah, that's another good one. So basically, top of the line is the best of the best the above average right more than above average it's really it's the best you can do and the so can the guy is saying listen this is our best computer really you should buy it and uh, obviously you top of the line usually <laughs> costs a lot of money yeah it's usually for for something that costs money right for things you wouldn't really use it for a person right he's top no, of the line no 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 <laughs> uh top of the line i think generally refers to electronics and cars yeah. or like motorcycles and so you often hear top of the line stereo top of the line tv mm -hmm. um top of the line car mm -hmm. but you wouldn't say this about food or yeah, yeah. people or art <laughs> yeah you wouldn't say this this painting is top of the line <laughs> nah, no not about like very unique things you'd right. say this about kind of manufactured things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good so we've taken a look at a lot of great phrases why don't we listen to our dialogue for the last time and then we'll come back So can you fix it? I'm sorry, sir. This computer is not broken or damaged. It's simply just too old. That's why your programs and applications are running slow. There really isn't much I can do. What do you mean? I bought this computer just three years ago. Yes, but technology is ever-changing and technology is becoming obsolete faster and faster. Okay, I know where this is going. How much will it cost me to get a new computer? Well... This desktop over here is our latest model. It has a 4 gigahertz processor with 16 gigabytes in RAM and a hard disk with 1 terabyte. Of course, it includes a mouse, keyboard, and desk speakers. I have no idea what you are talking about. I just want to know if it's good, and if I'll be able to play solitaire without the computer crashing or freezing all the time. This PC is top of the line, and I guarantee it will never freeze. If it does, we'll give you your money back. All right, we're back. So uh, computers, uh, Catherine, I know you recently got a nice uh, Macintosh. Yeah, yeah, I did. It's one of those big screen ones, right? Yeah, it is. It's a desktop, mm -hmm. right? So it's not a laptop. And uh, it's got a very fast processor because Macs started using Intel processors mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, and that made them much faster. Wow. And it has this processor actually has two cores, right? Mm -hmm. So basically it can it has two different brains almost within one processor. Which gives it really bad headaches. <laughs> she complains to me often. Are you a big uh, Mac fan or PC fan? I'm a Mac fan. Really? I've been converted. My roommate in college, my sophomore year, had a Mac. And ever since then, I've really gotten into them. So Really? Yeah, I went Mac and didn't turn back. I, I still honestly cannot really use a Mac. I get confused. I'm looking for the, for the start button and I'm looking for where my documents are. It's really hard to change over. Yeah. Right. But once you do, is you don't want to change back because everything is so much easier on a Mac. Really? But if you're really into PC gaming, uh, then you should probably stick with it. Stick with the PCs because the games just don't really compare on Macs. But I've heard that also Macs don't really suffer from viruses, right? No, they don't, which is great because I always used to get these viruses that would slow down my computer. Because, you know, <laughs> you open some email and all yeah. of a sudden... There's nastiness on your desktop. <laughs> well, now I don't really have that problem. And um, and also there's really wonderful photo editing software and video editing software. Right. So everything's just really easy to find and easy to use. Mm. What about you listeners? Do you prefer the Mac? Do you prefer the PC? Or maybe some of our listeners don't really even like computers. Well, let us know either way. We're very curious to hear what you have to say. And of course, writing on our comment section is great practice for your English. Right. So we'll see you guys there. And until next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.